Hello everyone, my name is Janika and welcome. In this video I'll share with you guys what I think is an absolute must-do when in Bolivia. You'll now be joining me on a three-day tour through some of the most amazing landscapes I've ever seen, including things like the famous Salt Flat Lake, lagoons full of wild flamingos, a hot spring, geysers, volcanoes and much more. This tour starts in a little town called Uyuni. I did the tour with a company called Skyline Traveler and I can definitely recommend them. For this tour I paid 900 bolivianos which accumulates to about 120 euros. Included in this price was the transport, tour guide, food and accommodation. There are some extra costs as well like paying for the hot springs and entrance to the national park but some other companies were asking for or much much more so I think this tour was reasonably priced and our tour guide was great and so the tour has started now we are doing a Spanish tour our Spanish is still very in the beginner level but there wasn't really much options or the English tours were much much more expensive so we just decided to go with the Spanish tour and I'm sure we'll we'll still have fun and survive okay we have come to our first stop which is a train cemetery. So basically here we have a bunch of old trains. <laughs> Before entering the salt flats we got to learn a little bit more about the salt itself and the different stages of salt production. How do you guys like this hair band? Could be fun. I decided to buy the hair band. I think it's pretty cute. A nice little memory from here. I've never been to anywhere like this before. It's just salt after salt after salt. This salt flats area is really, really big. It's as big as one third of Belgium. And yeah, it's really beautiful. And I believe we're soon about to have some lunch. This place kind of looks like we're on some other planet, like on the moon or something. Right, okay.
We have now arrived to the Cactus Island and apparently we're now gonna like climb to the top. It's supposed to be about a 45 minute climb or something like that. For this you need to buy a ticket yeah, and it costs 30 Bolivianos. So this what you see here is actually coral as this used to be a massive lake. We have reached the top and I feel like it wouldn't normally be a tiring climb at all, like it's quite easy, but because of the altitude, it makes it a bit more challenging. We have now come to a spot where we're watching the sunset from. We have like a mountain view from here and it's very beautiful but I think it will still take a little bit of time before it goes down and apparently when it does go down it's gonna get quite cold so let's see right now it's still fine but I do have a thicker jacket with me just in case as well. We have arrived to our accommodation and tonight we're sleeping in a salt hotel and it looks really cool. The walls are made of salt, the ground is completely made of salt and this is what our room looks like. It's really cute. Uh, we even have a private uh, bathroom. Voila. Very nice. Oh. Feels surprisingly comfortable. morning today's been a bit of an early start and we had our alarms at 10 past 6 in the morning and soon we're going to have some breakfast and then starts day two of our tour and yeah i slept really well here in this salt hotel oh yeah and before we go gotta check something it is truly salt I am now stopped somewhere. We're quite high up, 4,200 meters. And yeah, I'm not sure what there is here. Some kind of volcano over there at least. It's, uh, yeah, I must say so far Bolivia is like no other country I've ever visited before. Like the nature here is just next level. Like I keep feeling like I'm on another planet or something. I'm really, really liking it. And I'm also really liking this tour that we're on. Definitely recommend doing it if you're ever in Bolivia. Look how beautiful it is here. Kind of looks like Mars or something. I bought myself some chocolate. Unfortunately, I thought it was Bolivian chocolate, but seems like it's made in Argentina. But oh well, I'm gonna enjoy this with 
the view of a volcano. So really nice. Costed me 15 Bolivianos. Probably a bit expensive, but we're in the middle of nowhere to be fair. So I think it's a fair price. The altitude is getting quite high, I'm getting a headache, so I'm gonna try, well, for the first time ever, some coca leaves. It's supposed to help, and it's perfectly legal here in Bolivia to do. You can have it in your mouth for a long time. Okay. It's so cool, there's so many flamingos. And it's so beautiful here, it, uh, it almost looks unreal. This is a bit of a pinch me moment for me, I must say. This place really makes me feel like I'm on an episode of National Geographic. Like, I'm not sure if I've ever seen wild flamingos. If I have, not this many at least. It's, uh, it's unreal. And what I like about it is that there, there's like only a few tour cars. It's not packed at all, only a few people. There's no like shops here or hotels here or anything. It's very like untouched. So I really, really appreciate that. We have come to another lagoon that also has a bunch of flamingos and once again it is breathtakingly beautiful. Over here you can see today's lunch spot with not too bad of a view. We have now stopped by a desert. And apparently this is a very dry desert, one of the driest in Bolivia. And because of that, animals live here and in the night time and winter time it can get to minus 25 degrees. And if you see those mountains back there, that's Chile. We are right by the border of Chile. And the current altitude for us is 4,700 meters. I am pretty sure this is the highest I have ever been feeling okay, a little bit boozy and a little bit like sleepy. I also have maybe a bit of a headache, but I took some paracetamol and I feel better. And also the coca leaves are helping a little bit. We then got to have the cutest encounter with some wild picachas. I was surprised to see that they didn't seem like they were scared of people, but this mystery to why they were so tame was then quickly resolved as we got to feed them some carrots. So I think that answered my question to that. I 
hope you guys can hear me. We've now come to this like colorful lagoon, but it's extremely windy here. I'm hiding behind the car. So we already have one lost hat from the group. It flew away, I'm afraid. Gotta keep a hold on my own cap so it doesn't fly away. But um, yeah, wish me luck. arrived to our second accommodation and I think it's gonna be less fancy than the Salt Hotel. This seems like we have this three-person room where we're gonna be sleeping. <gasps> Nothing very fancy but it'll be all right. It is a very simple place though. I think you have to pay if you want to take a hot shower and there's only electricity for a few hours and that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, soon we're gonna have some dinner and I think we're gonna have an early night because tomorrow we're waking up super early around four or five or something like that. And then tomorrow is our last day of this tour, but so far it has been amazing i really loved it only thing right now i'm having a bit of a migraine or like yeah a headache it's the beginning of a migraine i believe because of the altitude and you have like lex you have less oxygen in your blood so that affects also people with migraines like me unfortunately but um yeah hopefully it would go away during the night time or something but um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for now at least. Looking forward to dinner and to sleep. It's only actually 7 p.m. But we've done so much today that I feel, I feel tired. Yeah, and especially the headache is obviously not helping. But yeah. Today we've had to wake up at like 4 a.m. because we're going somewhere, I'm not sure. But feeling quite tired and not the best, but oh well. This morning I didn't really talk much to the camera because honestly I wasn't feeling the greatest, probably due to the high altitude. But we started the day by visiting some geishers that were 4,900 meters up in altitude, which probably explains why I wasn't feeling so good. After the geishers, we went to these natural hot spring pools, which are said to have some healing abilities. And guess what? It actually did make me feel much better. <laughs> I should have burned. Yeah, never getting out again though. <laughs> I'm staying in forever. They're gonna have to drag me out. We are now by Laguna de Verde, so the green lagoon. And yeah, it's very beautiful. Um, 
I am starting to feel very tired from the tour though. I feel like it's so beautiful, but I can't maybe 100% appreciate it because of that. I am looking forward to tomorrow having a day of doing absolutely nothing. Um, but yeah, still gonna enjoy this tour until the end of course. And yeah, we are very close now by the border crossing place to Chile. We have one person at least in our car that we're gonna drop off there and then we're gonna slowly start making our way back up to Uyuni. We are now by the border of Chile as uh, so some are taking the bus from here and heading into Chile. Um, I guess technically if I walk to over here I am now in Chile. But um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna count this as a country point though, but pretty cool though. <laughs> someone helping him will be able to fix it. Now it seems like we are changing cars. Our car is not working anymore unfortunately. we have come to this beautiful viewpoint and I think this will be one of the last stops before we're back in Uyuni. Oh, my hat. tour is now over and we are on our way to the next place which is Potosi and we got so lucky because we were kind of stressing about making a bus on time because we have to be in Potosi before 11 p.m. before our check-in time um, ends basically and yeah so our driver was driving quite fast so that we could make our bus and we just left the travel agency we walked for less than a minute and we see hey that's a bus that says Potosi and it's stopping and we asked Potosi and there was space and now we're already on a bus so now we should be able to make it on time so that was very 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 lucky but uh, yeah the tour was very nice, we had so much fun. It was very tiring as well, because you do a lot, you drive a lot, you wake up early, so it's quite demanding, but totally worth it. I think we saw some of the most beautiful places I've ever seen in my whole life, to be honest. It was amazing, so if you ever come to Bolivia, I highly, highly recommend doing the Uyuni tour and not just seeing the salt flats doing like the three day tour like we did, for example. I know there's also a four day tour, but I feel like four days would maybe be too much even. So the three day was just perfect. But um, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Whoa! <laughs> if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel to join the journey. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again on my next adventure. Bye bye! <laughs>